Hey folks, Ben the Looney here. Those of you who have followed me for the longest time have been presented with this image of a good old country boy who is golly gee innocent that he didn't even want to swear in his own videos, always drank chocolate milk, and the only thing he worried about was what cartoons and movies to watch. I was always a crusader for family friendly entertainment as I wanted to make videos that kids, and to a certain extent, adults, could enjoy. Mostly for the protection of my little cousins and family members who supported me by watching my videos. I'm no stranger to trying to keep a squeaky clean image. The impression that seems to go around is the Midwest is full of polite, God-fearing people, welcoming neighbors with open arms, and full of families who get together every Sunday to eat meatloaf, corn, and potatoes. I can say that the environment that I was raised in has inspired my personality. I consider myself a very laid-back individual who treats people I meet with respect and kindness, and only shows his mean side when either me or one of my friends are antagonized. Now, as for those of you new to my channel, taking everything I said into consideration, what would you think of me if I told you that I like to draw? Drawing? What's wrong with that? Everybody has a hobby. What would you think if I told you I like to draw nudity? Nudity? Big deal. Every famous artist draws nude figures. It's just the natural human body after all. Now, what would you think if I told you I like to draw those same nude bodies having intercourse with each other? Oh. Oh my. Not so golly gee innocent anymore now am I? I think it's time a lot of you got to hear a side of me that I hid from my online persona for the longest time. As far back as I can remember, to my puberty years, I've always been fascinated by the human body and sexual media. Growing up in a strong Christian household, with balls bluer than Violet Beauregard after a trip to the chocolate factory, I wasn't allowed to look at any pictures that could be taken sexually. I can remember one instance when my mother gave me a stern talking to when she caught me just doing a Google search of women in bikinis. Pornography was just something I heard about in more adult cartoons I watched, like South Park, Futurama, or Family Guy. So me, not being tech savvy, had no idea how to view it. I also grew up around peers who watched porn sites freely, and would constantly brag about how much they enjoyed it, while I just had to sit there and listen curious about what all the hype was about. However, I had to please my hormones somehow, and my outlet for getting my sick kicks became cartoons. It was the best I can do in my situation. I'd wait for any episode involving my favorite female characters showing a little more skin. Whether it be swimsuits, bikinis, or even just wearing a smaller shirt that showed navel. That was enough to satisfy me. Not having access to the hardcore stuff also forced me to use my imagination. To use what little info I had about the human body to try to let my fantasies out in my head. This helped spark my imagination for the more loot side of my creative mind. My first attempts at drawing seriously that didn't involve childhood doodles were drawings of my favorite cartoon characters in swimsuits. These drawings have been lost with time, but my point is that sexuality has always been a part of my interests in some form or another. I was a horny kid with a need to unleash my perverted fantasies in a creative way, and that eventually followed me when I started posting art online. My feeble attempts of drawing back in the day led me to trying to sneak in some more arousing art pieces in some way or another on my old DeviantArt account. However, thanks to how I was raised, my shyness and fear of public ridicule caused me to delete and shoot down any attempts I had of drawing that kind of art. Eventually, I discovered other artists who not only drew lewd art, but they embraced it and made a name for themselves doing it. I was taught that pornography was evil and no good comes of it. Yet, here were artists like Zone, Shadman, Gurf, and Big Dead Alive who were making a living in an evil business with lots of good coming their way. It's then I decided, if they can do it, why can't I? Why do I draw lewd? Why not? It's my belief that humans are sexual creatures by nature. Why wouldn't we be? It goes back to the time of cavemen when everybody walked around naked, and guys would screw any woman he could get his monkey paws on to build up his pack, and then draw it on cave walls for the amusement of his friends. 
Sex leads to the creation of human life. If you ask me, that's the most beautiful thing on the planet. We all have certain genders we're attracted to, and we all have kinks that we prefer. As long as these kinks are within reason, us humans shouldn't be ashamed of them, no matter what social stigmas out there try to label us as pervs for it. It baffles me that sex and porn is so taboo in a world where a photograph of a woman being hung from a tree and beaten by a man while innocent bystanders look on and do nothing to help her can go on to win Pulitzer Prizes, while a photo of a male and female commencing in the very act that created the same people who were offended by it is disgusting and anyone who shows any signs of liking that kind of stuff is called a pervert, a sexist pig, a rape enabler, you name it. Being interested in sex is no different from being interested in TV shows, movies, video games, or books. If you're going to attack somebody who likes sex, you might as well hate them for liking food, water, or breathing. The basic elements that human nature needs to survive. Now, I understand that's a private topic that not a lot of people like to talk about. I'm not one who likes to bring up my favorite porn star at the Thanksgiving table in front of my family members. It's good to have filters around others. I want to talk to my uncle about the same things I talk about with my best friend. I'm allowed to be more loose around my friends because they share the same interests as me and understand where I'm coming from. That being said, it's possible my uncle might be thinking of the same fantasies I think of, but he grew up in a generation where they were taught not to talk about that kind of stuff because it's the work of the devil in ya. It's perfectly okay to not be interested in porn or anything sexual in general, but don't try to ridicule others who might be into that kind of stuff and you want to ban because, oh, my feelings. My love for sexual stuff also goes back to my love of things that are shocking and controversial. I'm one who's all for pushing the boundaries of people's tastes and using art that is questionable and disgusting to the general public. It's good we have art like that out there that breaks up the monotony of the vanilla sex we're all used to. I believe that the point of drawings in any artwork is doing things that we're limited from doing in real life due to moral and legal grounds. In a world where people are trying to be PC, not offend anybody, and this very website I'm making this video on is trying to silence people and make them not talk about topics that aren't user friendly, it's good to have people out there that are trying to challenge social norms and make people think. How ironic that YouTube is trying to cater to millennials, yet they're trying to censor the very things that millennials are interested in. Go figure. Well, I believe in being subversive. Explain the things that are out there that the mainstream doesn't want you to see. To rule in the underground where all the freaks and geeks dwell. I consider myself lucky, more or less thankful, that I live in an online era where I have access to all this artwork and media to consume and take part in. I'm able to express myself how I want to, with the only worry being trolls and tumblerites getting their pains in a bunch, whining about how what I do is wrong. I've always told myself, if you're pissing off people you don't agree with, you're doing something right. People will point out that there is no market for porn. I'm practically throwing away any chance I have to find success in the industry, and my reputation will be ruined for it. I think a lot of this is merely speculation and based off information being spread by people who have no idea what they're talking about. There are countless stories of porn stars moving on to mainstream acting, with Sasha Gray being an example as well as artists who make lewd material, not just surviving, but thriving in the media they take part in. Porn is a niche market, no doubt about it, but it's a market with enough consumers to keep somebody who takes part in it at a healthy living. My dreams of becoming an animator haven't gone as I planned. Most of it has been my fault, whether it be misguided or just mistakes I made. But life is no straight shot from point A to point B. That's what makes it exciting. I've gotten to a part of my life when I've asked myself, what do I really want to do? Above all else, I want to do something I enjoy. I don't want to spend most of my time unhappy doing something that my heart isn't into. I really want my work to stand out and be something that people talk about. I've been told that it's easier to consume than it is to create. So, it's my job to do my damnedest to create art that people will constantly come back for. And I feel like expressing myself with lewd art will be the best way to create that kind of content. It's true, I have a lot to learn. My anatomy can use a lot of work, and I'm still in a phase that involves studying. But, that gives me drive to succeed. The fact that I'm always learning gives me purpose. 
If I was perfect and constantly churning out great stuff, I would get bored of myself pretty easily. I'm always wanting to challenge myself, discovering what I do well and what I can improve on. And sometimes, imperfection can be just as beautiful as perfection. So this is probably why a lot of you have been shot, or more or less up and left me for showing my more perverted side. The way I see it, as my audience grew up, and times were changing, it was time for me to adapt and stay relevant. Could you imagine me still making cringy rants on cartoons that aren't even made for people in my age group? I sure as heck couldn't. There comes a time in a creator's life when he needs to put aside the things he's become known for and try something new. To expand his horizons, get out of his comfort zone, and try to be a little more daring. I have no shame in what I do, no matter how many naysayers feel I should. I know that deep down, the most prudish individual can't hide their inner sexual needs. Just ask Ted Cruz. No matter what, there's always going to be some kind of porn out there that's going to bother people. And no matter what, there's always going to be people out there who like that sick stuff. And for as long as I'm alive, I'm going to express my sexual imagination in art form. Whether I do it to get people offended and wanting to crucify me, or I just want my followers to have a good wink session with my art. As long as I have hands, a brain, and a penis, I'm going to draw lewd artwork. I love sex, I love drawing, and I love causing controversy. And if having an imagination and wanting to be creative is a bad thing, that sounds like a miserable world to live in. As always, stay loony, my friends.